Style and fashion consultant Vikash Gajar believes that opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor and he doesn't wait until luck waltzes his way. Karishma met up with this go-getting Cape Tonian and discovered what goes into styling a star. Vikash never dreamt of becoming a celebrity stylist. His first post matric year was spent in Mumbai studying semi-classical Hindustani music. On his return to Cape Town, he planned to study accounting and law but it didn't take him long to be drawn to the world of media and fashion. Style is a way of saying who you are without having to speak a word. Vikash Gijar is known to speak volumes just by entering a room and his talents have allowed most of his clients to do the same. Hey Karish, oh hello Vikash. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Lovely to see you. You too. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. You look so beautiful. I, I feel so huge. Uh, you, you look <laughs> exquisite. I hope I'm not interrupting. Is this a typical day in the life of a celebrity stylist? I think so. Well, you know what? This is the typical day when I get to have fun with Vikash and he plays dress up with me and I get to be his life-size doll. But um, I'm very, very blessed to work with him. What do you love about working with him? When it comes to styling, I think it's very important that you have a stylist who understands you and Sometimes celebrity stylists want to put their stamp on you and forget that you actually want to be the person who's going out there and feeling comfortable. And Vikash is amazing in that sense that yes, he does. You can see, okay, Vikash styled you because you look impeccable, but also he, he knows what you're going to be comfortable in and he knows how to dress according to what suits you. And that's the hallmark of a fantastic stylist, which he is. But I'm going to have to excuse myself. I'm expecting a guest soon, so <laughs> I'm going to leave you in his very capable hands. <laughs> I'm so excited and thank you so much for joining us. Absolute pleasure. Anything for him. <laughs> Bye. 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 Vikash, you style some of the biggest celebrities in South Africa. What does it take to be a celebrity stylist? We need to not lose who the celebrity actually is. And it's not only celebrities, they're a personality of their own. I mean, for you, you for example, you're a completely different personality to that of Joanne. So we couldn't put you in something that we would put her in. We would need it, it needs to be Karishma at the end of the day. I'm like a kid in a candy store looking around this beautiful shop. Would you mind showing me around? Of course, let's go. Vikash had already selected some garments to demonstrate his approach to creating a look. That is exquisite. The perfect put together chic outfit. That is amazing. Vikash, now that I have you alone, let's start at the beginning as one does. Who is Vikash Gijar? First and foremost, a proud Indian South African, um, but also celebrity stylist, which kind of found me. It wasn't something that I ever intended on being. A journalist also by profession. Also a singer. A very proud Hindustani classically trained Indian singer. You started your career as a journalist at a very early age. How did you make the transition between that and becoming a sought after stylist? Well, I started off at um, the University of Cape Town's newspaper, Varsity. After my first year, I applied for an internship at GQ, thinking that I wouldn't get it as a first year. But lo and behold, I ended up there for my December vac. Loved it, thrived in fashion. And then I went back to intern a few times while studying. And one of our junior fashion editors actually ended up becoming a stylist for top billing. And she asked me to be an assistant. And after assisting for a while, I thought, you know what, I'd, I'd actually like to do this by myself. And like they say, from this history. Do you feel like you finally found your calling? I think my calling lies in fashion. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether I'm writing, whether I'm styling, whether I might be laying out the pages of a magazine, as you know, an art director would do, as long as it's something in fashion. What is your personal style? My personal style as an individual, I would kind of say it's classic, understated, but with a pop of authenticity. So you would find me in very classic items like this blazer, a jersey, but also something a bit funky like my sneakers that I've got on right now. As a stylist, what is your signature? Dramatic. I love the dramatic. Something that's going to make heads turn where people are actually going to go, wow. I think that, that really has been my signature. And I don't know if you want me to show you. Of course, I'd love that. Yeah. This we put Jeannie D in. A completely dramatic ball gown mm -hmm. with very intricate detail going around the waist area. 
Would you like to see a fashion show? I would love that. Let's take a seat. Let's take a seat. So over here, we've got our first look. As you can see, it's quite corporate-y. It's your business day look that works very well. What are some of the key things to keep in mind when putting together a power meeting look? You don't want to show too much skin. I keep telling my clients this all the time. You aren't going to a cocktail party. You're going to a boardroom meeting where what you say is taken seriously, not exactly what you're wearing. But it still forms a massive part of how you present yourself. So keep it classy, um, keep it quite neat, keep it traditional. And in that way, you're taken seriously by dressing well. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. So over here, this is something that's a lot more dramatic. Um, very much my signature style. It's beautiful in the sense that it's very off the shoulder, which is not something that you see all the time. And then, of course, it's very fitted. So it obviously, the material allows it to fit to your body, which is always what we want. And then it's got a beautiful train at the end that just adds so much to the depth of the actual garment. Vikash, how do you keep a look like this from becoming too over the top? Or is there even such a thing when creating a dramatic look? There's definitely something that's called too over the top. Over here, as you can see, we aren't going to accessorize it with a neck piece because the fact that it's off the shoulder is already enough for you to not need to accessorize it any further. So that's where your dramatics lie. You can then do a, a big earring and keep your hair up to accentuate that. With Vikash having analysed the individual elements, Karishma couldn't wait to see how it all came together. How do I look? You look stunning. That dress was made for you. I feel absolutely amazing. I love this colour. It literally works with your entire body. I'm satisfied if you're satisfied. I absolutely love it. I just need a night out in the town. In that dress, yes you do. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with this fashionista has definitely gotten my fashion heart fluttering. I've taken notes of the do's and the don'ts, and if it's glitz and glamour I'm after for my next event, I'm definitely going to give Vikash a call.